When you dance, the audience must see the rhythm in your body. They must see the rhythm. The drummer's role is to make the dancer absorb what they hear, keep the rhythm going. If you can walk, you can dance. If you can talk, you can sing. That's it. We are all African people within the diaspora. Dance in African culture is a representation of the people in a particular region. We bring the different cultures together. I'm from Senegal. I've been in the United States since 1965. I came here and I named my company Jamunokura, which means those who bring the message. <laughs> we are messengers. I grew up in Monrovia, Liberia. I came to the United States for school. In San Diego, California, I was performing with another company. The director of company said, oh, I have the right person who can come and do choreography for us. And he invited Zach. He knew right away that that was the girl for me. Yeah. And of course, I was like, oh, yeah. no, you know, no. I teach a class, and with that class, both of us become one. <laughs> Our work, we have always been a team. We use our thought, what she's thinking and what I'm thinking, and then we work together. It's very important. You got a business card. Mm -hmm. Before Jamino Kuro was formed, as far as African dance, it really wasn't in the Bay Area. No. They were on the East Coast, yeah. like New York. Yeah. It wasn't. That known, we made it known. They are my mother and father, but they've taken on all these children. So even me and my brothers and my sisters, we grew up with everyone calling them mama and papa. Yeah. I have been dancing with Mama Naomi since high school, almost 30 years. To know traditional dance from Mama Naomi and Papa Zach is really a foundation that will never go away. It's a part of who I am ancestrally, and it's my connection. Dance introduces me to and reminds me of myself. other people in from different backgrounds and just root the traditional culture within us. They've changed many people's lives. Today, everywhere you go throughout the United States, people are doing African dance. It makes me feel very joyful 
at some point, if a tradition to, to live, you must pass it on. You can't separate yourself from your tradition. Each new generation is a revolt against the preceding one. The tradition is already there. You just have to keep on building it. Every time, whether we go small, whether we go big, I pour libation for the ancestors. We walk in the footsteps of giants. We never forget the ancestors. African tradition is not just about the small narrow, and it's not just about a dance company. We are thinking about the community. And when we come together, we make magic happen.